enigmatic, enigmatic, again, enigmatic. Good. And notice the T is not enigmatic. It's going to be that TD, that flap T, enigmatic. This means mysterious, puzzling, or difficult to understand. The Mona Lisa's enigmatic smile has intrigued art enthusiasts for centuries. And it really has. Sometimes I think it's a bit overrated. I saw this in Paris. It is a teeny tiny painting. <laughs> but, you know, it's a classic. Repeat after me. The Mona Lisa's enigmatic smile has intrigued art enthusiasts for centuries. Good. Take your time. There are a lot of big words here. Intrigued, enthusiasts, centuries. So take your time with it. Really enjoy it. Savor it, especially when you're in this safe space of practice. If you practice rushed, if you practice confused and not feeling confident, your speaking in real life is going to be even worse. Um, it's going to exacerbate the problems. Instead, take your time. <sighs> Remember, no matter how slowly you practice, because of adrenaline and anxiety, it's going to be faster in real life. So take your time because that's going to help offset that and help you sound and feel better when you actually use it. This is designed to help you really understand how to look, feel, and sound more confident, how to refine your American accent, and how to communicate in a way that is genuine to you. If all of this sounds like something that's interesting to you, welcome, and let's get started right now.